Swinehart. I'm a first grade teacher at Colin Powell Elementary School in Grand Prairie ISD. Tell me about teachable moments. How, how will you introduce lessons um, to the children at the school? Oh, there's so many teachable moments. We, uh, that, that's number one reason why we love our garden area. We just uh, basically have, have the kids out here and if we're looking at parts of a plant, we might see different type of insects around the plant or maybe a spider web that was interesting. Many of the kids are not aware of what type of garden uh, materials there are in the shed. So we have taken the garden materials out, the hoses, the spades, showed them what um, a wheelbarrow is, and also shown them about our um, watering tank over there to use for gardening. My name is Kevin Pennebaker. I'm the art teacher at Colin Powell Elementary in Grand Prairie Independent School District. We partnered with Real School Gardens, which is a local organization, and they provided uh, the resources for the learning and the lessons and the seeds, and we have a partnership to where we have involvement volunteers and students, community, uh, to make this a sustainable gardening, garden and a usable, functional teaching area for our kids. We'll be planting a variety of seeds, basically uh, fruit and vegetables, and herb plants as well. Can you tell me what your goals are here with this garden? Um, our main goal is exposure for the children. We want the kids to be excited about being outside, away from their video games, outside enjoying nature, exposure to plants, uh, watching how plants grow, what types of insects come to our garden, as well as what, what type of animals come to our garden during the daytime. You found some cute little fuzzy animals here. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, I was outside with my class one day and another teacher was out here as well and she was watering the garden bed and we watched the soil bubble up from underneath. It almost looked like a little volcano. And we turned the hose off and we removed the soil from the area that was moving and we found five rabbits uh, that were buried within the soil. We were able to um, get help and get the animals to a safe place where um, they, they were able to grow and develop um, away from the garden area in a safe place. The goals that I would have and I would hope everyone has for this space is for it to be utilized the best way possible, make it sustainable, makes it, make it functional, make it an active working part of the school um, to enhance the student success in learning through nature and learning about the rainwater harvesting, learning about the um, how to plant and we can tie this into many disciplines with math, science, art, music, there's all the different disciplines validating why this garden is here and I think it's only going to enhance the experience and success of these students. And this is a new program we found out um, through Grand Prairie ISD. It's a grant and it's for two 55 gallon barrels, 110 gallons total with a fence, a little privacy fence and we were selected uh, to receive one. So we got with our principal, Ms. Jones, and she accepted it. And they're gonna come out August, or October, excuse me, October 9th, and they're gonna do a full school faculty training on how to use the rain barrel, and then they're gonna complete the construction of it with the faculty uh, present so that everyone on staff is trained so that we can relay all this information to our students and teach them how the rainwater harvesting not only can save money with your water bill, but when there's a drought, or in our case yesterday, when we don't have water, we're able to sustain our garden. Well, when it comes to volunteers and what we need for the garden, we just really wanted to get more interest in our garden from our uh, parents here at the school and from other faculty members, just to be excited about being out here 
we have a great space. We just really want to get it enriched with color, with shrubs, with hopefully a pond out here with um, maybe live koi fish in it, maybe a frog, maybe some turtles in there, just to get other things out here for our kids to be exposed to. We're also talking about dressing up the area, having our fence painted, uh, just really getting things more, getting it very exciting for the kids to be out here.